Come to bed. It's 4 a.m. and you have to be at work in three hours. I know, I'm almost finished. You said that two hours ago. Five more minutes. I'm counting. Enough studying. Fast Life. It's an uh, all natural energy supplement that was produced by that man, William Quint. We'll show that Fast Life caused Ernesto Vargas' fatal heart attack, and that Mr. Quint knew the dangers that his product posed when he put it on the market. All Ernesto wanted was more time. And that's the only thing we can't give him. I hope the rest of this case is this good. <laughs> What'd you have for breakfast? You smell like gravy. Order. Mr. Lewis, are you ready to make your opening statement? Yes, Your Honor. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. We have a new client. Apparently, uh, there is an evil conspiracy lurking behind the curtain of every routine Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Gloria Vargas is suing William Quint over the wrongful death of her husband. Now it should be a simple, low-stakes wrongful death suit, but Quint has help. Toby Earnshaw of Earnshaw Pharmaceutical. Father founded the company, and he's still CEO. Why does a drug heiress care about a lawsuit against a tiny supplements company? Because without telling Daddy or the executive board, Earnshaw sank twenty million into R and D for Fast Life in anticipation of buying the company. As he liverably loses this trial, then thousands of other lawsuits just like it will fall out of the sky. Buyout falls through. Yeah, and Earnshaw's out on her ass. To protect an investment she knows kills people, Earnshaw is going to destroy this young widow. Well, then we have to win the court case for Gloria. We can't. No, oh, guys, we got into this way too late. I mean, the best we can hope for is to con Quint into a settlement. No, no, Earnshaw took settlement off the table. So, you know, we, we, we try to convince him to put it back up. Hello. Earnshaw ran a credit check on Alice White. Who's Alice White? You yeah. are. Wow. She's going to buy the jury. Not if we steal it first. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Durham presiding. Be seated. Mrs. Vargas, do you have any idea where your attorney is? <sighs> Mrs. Vargas, I may have no choice but to declare a mistrial. Forgive my tardiness, Your Honor. I'll be acting as attorney for the plaintiff. Miller, I'm your court-appointed attorney. They have court-appointed attorneys for civil lawsuits? Do you trust your government, Ms. Vargas? Why, well, yes, of course. Then I let just... me handle this. Mr. Vargas had an enlarged aorta, possibly the result of rheumatic fever as a child. This is what caused his heart attack. So, in your medical opinion, what role did Fast Life play in Mr. Vargas' death? It played no role whatsoever. No further questions, Your Honor. Your witness, Mr. Miller. I'm, I'm sorry. For what? Me. You deserve better. You're the best lawyer we ever had. Thank you so much. We're waiting, Mr. Miller. Right away, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Madam Foreman, please read the verdict. 
In the matter of Gloria Vargas et al. versus Live Herbally Incorporated, the jury finds in favor of the plaintiff. Yes! In the amount of five million dollars. What? Thank you so much. This is unbelievable. What the hell just happened? 